Good morning, Kev, bleedsharmonica.uk. Life, love, and blues harmonica licks. I'm going to do something slightly different today, in that I'm not just going to present a general purpose lick. I'm going to give you a lick specifically for the 541 area of the blues, right? That's bars 9, 10, and the first beat or two of bar 11, just before the turnaround. Um, if you're not familiar with the 12 bar blues, there's a little diagram here, there, or somewhere. And we're looking at specifically the, the last row, bars 9, 10, and the first beat of 11. That's what we call the 5, 4, 1 area, just before the turnaround. Some people, quite a lot of people, um, refer to the turnaround as the last four bars. I find it more useful to separate the last four bars into 5, 4, 1, and turnaround. This is purely because... We play very different licks in in those two areas, right? Um, and uh, you can play anything you want over the five four one, just wail away. But it sounds much cooler and smarter if you match the chord changes while you go. Okay, so this lick that I'm going to show you today matches the chord changes, so it feels kind of structurally good um, as we're playing it. And I might do a few of these actually, a few five four one licks, because I think it's an area that um, isn't really talked about particularly much. So I'm going to throw some good examples of things that you can play in this particular area of the blues out there. Okay, and this lick I've picked for the first one is a lick I pinched from a David Barrett study song called Gary's Blues. Um, Barrett draws attention to this, and I remember when I was working through the stuff, this lick was, uh, this was a big one for me, learning to play it and learning sort of how it functions in the in the 12 bar was a big deal. So um, I'm not sure if Barrett's come up with it or where he's nicked it from or whatever, so I can't really give you a providence other than Gary's Blues by David Barrett. In any case, here's the lick. So I'm going to play the lick, but obviously you've got to imagine it's coming off of bar eight, right? So the lick I'm going to play is... Okay. We've got a D harmonica, by the way, today, and the backing track, uh, which I will link in the description, which I'm going to use in a little bit, is in the key of A. We're playing second position. Okay, so what's happening in this lick? I'll put the tab up there. Starting on a three draw half step, four blow, da da. That's actually a little pickup. Um, so that's actually going to come just before the first beat of bar 9. So uh, when you're jamming with this, it takes a little bit of uh, memory and preparation to know that we're not actually going to start bang on the first beat of bar 9. We're actually going to do this little pickup on the last beat, excuse me, of bar 8. So, and then we've got these two little lines here. Look carefully what's going on here. We've got a four draw, four natural, one draw. Four draw bend, four draw, one draw. Then on the next line, we're going to do four natural, then bend. So the first time round, we do bend natural. Second time round, we do natural bend. Finishing with a one blow. And that's the chord changes, right? Um, the, your four draws are D, and you've got the bend in there as well. Our one draws are D. We're playing that over assuming we were, if we were playing in the key of G, which we're not, I always pretend we're playing in the key of G on a C harmonica. And uh, so we've got our D there for our five chord. And when the four come, comes round, we've got that four draw natural again, but we are, instead of going to the D, we are going to the one blow, which is a C, which matches the four chord, right? That's why these licks sound so good follow the chord changes. So just that first little bit. And that's really nice, right? And then to finish it all up, we've got... Let's hit four blow, three draw half step, four blow, pull, four blow, three draw half step, two draw, two draw.
Okay, so all together. Now I've picked quite a slow backing track so that you can um, sort of really hear what's going on here. So in the next little bit where I'm going to show you how to use this lick in context, I am improvising the choruses except for this lick, which you're going to hear sort of in place. I've got sort of two or three different choruses. All right, that's it. I think 541 licks are really cool. I think it's really worth thinking about this particular area as its own special case with its own licks that work nicely in. Um, see what you think. Have fun with it. Um, I'll probably come back with some more, uh, another 541 lick next week and we'll chuck a few of them out there. All right.